Even if Americans don't agree on who they want to vote for, most say they often feel exhausted just thinking about politics. According to a recent CBS News poll, more than 40% of voters feel a rematch campaign between President Biden and former President Trump will be, quote, depressing. As we approach November, we're getting some expert help from Harvard professor Arthur C. Brooks, who studies and teaches courses on happiness. He's also the New York Times bestselling author behind Build the Life You Want, The Art and Science of Getting Happier, with co-author Oprah Winfrey. Heard of her. Heard of her, author C Arthur C. Brooks. Good morning. Thanks Good so morning. much for being here. Delighted to be here. So I know why I'm less happy during politics season, <laughs> election season. It's because I'm working all the time. Yeah. I'm exhausted. But what does the science show about why the general public is so unhappy when it comes to politics? Well, right it's now? not necessarily the case. This is the important thing to keep in mind. But the way that politics has been conducted for the past ten years is really it's dedicated to stimulating these ancient structures in the brain of my people, their people, in group, out group my village, my tribe. And what it's doing is it's setting Americans against Americans. When somebody, when politicians or media or the social media or anybody's telling you that you should hate somebody in your family, mm. you should get rid of one of your friends because of politics, which one in six Americans has done since 2016, Jeez. it's wow. craziness. The result of that is the unhappy person is the hater is the person who's been told to actually do that, and that's what the political parties and leaders have been doing. Wow, you say politics should not come before the big four that you've identified for yeah. health and, and, and happiness. What are the big four, and then where does politics fit in? Well, the happiness habits, the, ha the habits of the happiness people are faith, family, friends, and work that serves other people. That's kind of your happiness 401k plan. Faith is different for different people. It might even not be religious, but something bigger than you. Family life is these mystical relationships that you didn't choose, and God knows you wouldn't have in, in many cases. Friendship is critically important across all different kinds of lines. We shouldn't, be, we shouldn't be deciding on our friendships on the basis of what political party you vote for, and traditionally we didn't. And last but not least is working to serve other people with your work. Wow. Yeah. These are the big four. These are the things we need to be paying attention to, not politics. And you can really see actually how politics is affecting all of those areas. If you're oh, growing sure. up friends and not inviting family over and your faith in your country has declined, I mean, your confidence in the future, all of it. Right. Yeah. You know, I oftentimes say that we are just products of our lived experiences. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's how people vote right. um, for policies that are good for them. And then oftentimes you're vilified for that, just like you're talking about. Right. Um, chapter two, yeah. talk about the power of metacognition. Nice. Which is, in so many words, thinking about our thinking process. Exactly. Um, how, how important is that? Because if we understand why we think a certain way, right. I think it might be easier to listen to somebody else and their beliefs. For sure. When you're in a conversation with somebody that you love, for example, your family member, your friend, and you're starting to feel defensive about politics, interrogate that feeling itself and ask yourself, what is actually the best emotion that I can have toward this person? Mm. In many cases, it would be, I should be actually interested in why they think this way. I love this person. Why mm -hmm. would they think this way? And start looking at it like a researcher. This has been That's super good. important for me. Look, I'm a researcher in the business of happiness, and it's made me much better at never feeling defensive or taking things personally when people are saying things that I disagree with. I want to know why they think that way. That's what I do for a living. And everybody can be a researcher around the uh, kitchen table. One of the problems too, is that people get served up the most outrageous right. political views online. Politicians Ooh. often complain to me that people who once would volunteer for their campaign now just go online, you know, write a, right. a post, and then feel like they've contributed. Right, and that's actually one of the great secrets to unhappiness. What happens is when, you're, when, you're, when your political involvement in, is, is all about watching cable television and screaming at the TV or writing on social media, it's actually incredibly disempowering to you. The most important thing that people can do to feel like they're more empowered when, when they don't like what's going on is to get involved, to get involved at a local level, to find out what's happening in their local communities. And when they do that, when they give, when they volunteer, when they pay attention to local politics, life changes a lot. Look, this is an entertainment complex in Washington, yeah. D.C. at this point, and it's, it's indicated, it's, it's bringing us down, quite frankly. Yeah, yeah Arthur is. C. Brooks, we appreciate you. You truly are a beautiful mind. This book is incredible.